Morning everybody, Mike Bakke, Prince and Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. So, the wedge uh, is most definitely here. Um, it's at a pretty critical juncture right now. The bottom of the wedge is trading 1225 to 1226 depending on how thick your pencil is uh, when you're drawing the line. We tested last night on Globex as low as 1225.75. So on my daily chart, that was at, that actually kissed the bottom of the wedge line. We've come off that a little. We traded as high as uh, a little above, uh, right around the 1241 area, just above where the daily and nine-day pivots are are locking today in a resistance zone, right at 1240. Uh, it gave that back up, and we are now down, back down, testing lows. As I'm taping this, uh, we're trading about 12.28. Okay, um, so by the time you watch this, maybe maybe we hold the wedge, maybe we don't. I'll give you both sides of the coin. First of all, if we hold the bottom of the wedge as we're doing now, we did this before on the 10th of November. Uh, we held the bottom of the wedge and we went up to test the top uh, end of it and came back down and we're currently testing that low. That could absolutely happen again. Uh, we could test this low, it could hold. If we move back up to test the top of the wedge, then you're looking at something in the 1257 uh, to 1260 area for, for a test. And then whether it breaks out or comes back down remains to be seen. But, you know, this is what I mean when I say don't anticipate. Um, at the same time, if we do test, or if you did this last night, I had this for my subscribers, you know, at about 8 p.m. last night. If, if, if you want to get, when, when we get down into the bottom of the wedge, if, if you want to put a long on, that's fine because you can do it with a reasonable stop and you know you're wrong if the wedge cracks and, and, and then you're out. Uh, and if you're right, then you have a nice trade that you can hold up to test the top of that area. Uh, uh, so be mindful of this. Um, the other concern I have is that yesterday I saw a lot of chatter out there between Twitter and, and everywhere else about the wedge. So the wedge has gone mainstream. And I hate that because when these things go mainstream, uh, they tend to not play out. So you know, there's another there's another check mark uh, in, in 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 the bullish camp. Now let's talk about the other side of the coin. What if we lose the bottom of the wedge today? Which to me is the more likely scenario. If we lose the bottom of the wedge, then um, I think we test. Uh, as I said before, I think we test the 50 uh, pretty quick down at 1220 then you've really got to look at the 1216 area holding and if that area can't hold then uh, there's going to be a very quick test of, uh, of 1208 so those are all very important areas to to be mindful of if we do lose the bottom of, of that wedge zone um, I'll do support and resistance in, in, in just a minute the last thing I'll talk about today is Europe uh, so we have concerns today that the Spanish 10-year note is now approaching 7% and there's protesters that are going to march on the exchange. This is happening every week now. It just happens to be Spain's turn. Maybe they'll get rid of their prime minister too or, or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Nothing in Europe has changed, uh, as I mentioned yesterday and as I've been saying for weeks. It's not, uh, the balance sheets of these banks are horrible and so you've got to be aware of that headline risk and use stops and, and be hedged. Let's do um, let's do support and resistance. The current trade is 12.27 half. So the wedge thing is is kind of playing out live here. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, just remember those two scenarios uh, when when you actually get to to watch this. I'm going to post it right now. It's 6:45 Eastern time. Uh, but just see where we stand when when uh, when when you're actually uh, watching the webcast. So upside first, uh, 12. Uh, Okay, 1231, 1234, you have the 20 day pivot, 1237 half, 1240 resistance zone, daily and nine day pivot, 1244, 1250, which was yesterday's uh, big level, the daily pivot ended up equaling the upper volatility level there at, 12, at 1250. So that was a big level that we traded around in the room yesterday with, with a lot of success. 1257 half and 1265. On the downside, uh, 1225 to 1226 wedge area, 1223, 
1216, 1213, 1208, 1203, and 1196. Okay, everybody have a good one. Trade them well today. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader for Mr. Topstep. I'll see everybody tomorrow morning. Have a good day.